Have you ever wanted to watch an anime show but didn't want to be bothered with all the flashy fight scenes, exaggerated emotions, and, well, basic movement in general? Well, you've come to the right place. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 is all the fun of Naruto Shippuden anime without the animation. Storm 4 boasts what feels like over 50 zillion hours of screenshots and JPEG files so large they shatter the expectations of what gamers believe next-gen consoles were capable of. Nothing makes me feel more emotionally captivated by a character than seeing them in static, literally two-dimensional screenshots. When you're done reveling in the gorgeous lack of motion, you can sit through the boring, fully rendered action scenes. Like fuck, who wants to see the super heart-wrenchingly beautiful art direction for the fight scenes in the final arc that the anime is too far up its own ass to even touch upon yet? No, no, I'll tell you what we do want to see though. Censorship! That's right, your arm didn't get blown off in the final battle. Oh no it didn't. Nope, it just got a little tanned, a little charred maybe. Just scrape off some of that shapeless black gunk and your arm is as good as new. I mean, even Sasuke from the last still has his arm. He doesn't use it at all because he's a fucking badass, but he still has it. Look at it. When you're done with the PowerPoint slideshow, you can trek on over to Adventure Mode, which lacks an adventure in every sense of the word. You can't even jump! What adventure do you know that you can't even jump? Even Link jumps occasionally. But that's okay, because we here at CC2 don't want our players to be bothered by jumping, or action, or freedom, or choice of any kind, really. Seriously, what adventure is there to be had if we just saved the fucking world? Why are we sending Naruto, aka the literal messiah of the ninja world, to do our petty message delivery missions? Don't we have a designated courier ninja for that or something? Rather, if the Kazekage has time to reminisce with Naruto about the good old days, why didn't he just get off his lazy ass and pick up his own messages? I digress, if you want to waste untold amounts of time running around doing random disjointed chores for people at the pace of a snail farting, then Adventure Mode is for you! But to be fair, who plays Naruto Storm 4 for the Story Mode? Fucking idiots, that's who. I mean, that's probably why the Story Mode is basically watered down scenes from the anime in the first place. No people play Naruto Storm 4 for the story. If you want a story, read a fucking book, you nerd. People play Storm 444444, the graphic orgiastic bukkake scenes. I mean, wait, no, that's not right. People play Storm 4 for the online battles. So instead of wasting your time schlepping about the overly big maps for no reason, you can waste your time looking at the online battle menu and not getting into a match before your next birthday. Seriously, somehow they seem to have made the online matchmaking worse. Not only did they get rid of the old system where not getting into a room doesn't boot you out of the entire lobby, but you can also choose a room right away and still not make it fast enough to join it. And then, as if the game is scolding you for failing or something, you have to sit through two unskippable text boxes that let you know you didn't get into the room, as if you didn't already fucking know you didn't get into the room. Then you get booted all the way back to the original menu. The game's matchmaking is so bad that Quick Match has actually become a viable option. Quick Match! The menu item that makes you read a text screen for 30 seconds only to tell you that the connection failed and boot you out again. Like, it's fucking Quick Match! the lobby is full and search for another goddamn room. I mean seriously, menus in this game look amazing guys, and I like the music, which says a lot since the music in store games suck elephant tits, but you don't have to keep shoving the menus down my throat. If I want to spend hours reading pointless boxes of text, I'd play Final Fantasy 13. Anyway, when you finally do get into a match, you likely get to play only for about 45 seconds before getting disconnected. Okay, you say. Something must have gone wrong, so you get into another room and get disconnected, and get disconnected again, and disconnected again. Seriously, there's not enough high-definition girl-on-girl strap-on anal porn in the world for me to download that would explain this shit connections I get in this game. The best methods I've found for getting into stable matches is just to create rooms myself. That seems to be one of the only things about online they actually cared enough to make better, allowing you to actually play free battle matches while you wait for an opponent. Smart stuff, should have been in the last game. And when you finally do get into a match, you get to face some of the greatest opponents you will ever encounter. All the Shisui spammers, Minato spammers, Giant Awakening spammers, Tobi support spammers, Daedata spammers, Six Pass Obito spammers, Hinata support spammers, Hanabi support spammers, and lots of the same spam you know and love from the previous game. 
I really like how CC2 made it so that you can customize the game to highlight your very own breed of spam, and you can really be the bitch player you've always wanted to be. Honestly though, you know what I'm fucking sick of? Cheap ass motherfucking supports. Literally everyone in this goddamn game uses Hinata the Last, Idiot Toby, Six Pass Obito, Hanabi, Neji, Minato, Boruto, Pain, or Nagato as their support characters even when the character has absolutely zero relationship with the other characters on the team. And you know why people do this? Because everyone in this game is a fucking tryhard. This is what happens when you push competition in a game that's broken and unbalanced as fuck. You feed the trolls. You feed the tryhards. No one is certain of their own skill, so they have to use support characters who are damn near guaranteed to get a hit when they were used. And it's fucking obnoxious. It's really fucking obnoxious. Because God forbid you have that Naruto vs Sasuke grudge match you've always wanted. I mean, you can have it. It'll just have to be six past Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi versus Sasuke, Idiot Toby, and fucking Hinata from the last. Like, how does that even work? Hinata has turned to the dark side and joined forces with Sasuke because she's so mad that Naruto won't even notice her or something? Seriously, her air palm jutsu is one of the most overpowered support jutsu in the game, and you can't really fault people for using her. I'm just sick of using my semi-legitimate teams only to be mentally and physically abused by Idiot Toby, who has been broken since Storm fucking 3. Oh, and on a final note, if you like cut content, then Storm 4 is just the game for you. You know all those support-only characters from the previous games? Like Anko, who has been in the Storm series as a support-only character since the very first one? Well, nope, they're not playable either, so that's good. No need to bog you down with more choice or freedom than you already have. They could give Karin, Kushina, and Rin movesets, which I love, don't get me wrong, but they couldn't give Anko, Chojudo, Shizune, the fat guy, and the mud girl movesets. Also, thanks for announcing all the DLC way before the game is out, Bandai Namco. It's weird that none of the content is finished yet, since you seem to know months in advance exactly what's going to be in the game. And on several websites I've seen, the upcoming DLC advertises, quote, costumes from previous Storm games. Oh, that's nice. You paid for it once already, so of course you wouldn't mind paying for it again. That's how capitalism works, right? You begrudgingly pay for a product that you were denied after paying 60 bucks for another product, and then you pay for the first thing again. So that means Kushina's tuning costume was so valuable that the only way to do it justice was to sell it to players twice. Obviously, the costume was already complete because it was in the last game, but let's not worry our pretty little heads about that. All this is to say that Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Ding Dong Storm 4 is the best game ever. With all the unanimated cutscenes, missing characters, cut content, bad connectivity, broken characters, and on-disc DLC you can ask for, Naruto Storm 4 gets a 9.5 out of 10. And what I mean by team battle is not the support battle, how they have it in uh, Naruto Storm 2. Um, Flyboy Kai has also uh, mentioned this, and a couple other people. Uh, I'm talking about Naruto Storm... I mean, sorry, I'm just... My mind is all over the place. I'm talking about kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom style team battling, where you can uh, switch between characters, and they all have their own health. Um... And you can literally, like, kind of like uh, uh, WWE, where you, in a tag team match, um, you switch, you tag out, and another person comes in for you. Because um, I think that would be a lot better than what they have now. 